All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna try and do this again. I just threw my, just a hook and a worm down into this culvert here. And I come up with a beautiful little speckle trout and he was hooked way too bad to put back. So he'll go into the frying pan if I don't lose him here. Stay tuned here for a sec. All right, got him moved to a little bit safer spot. Just drifting that worm down through this hole and seeing if there's any other takers. A lot of times when you catch a speck like that in a small little pool like this, kind of spooks them off a little bit. And you gotta wait a little while and come back. So, anyway, that was fun. Stay tuned. So, as you can see, I've got my little brother with me. I haven't really been doing much filming. We've been just having fun. It's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, everybody. And uh, catching bass like that in the river. That's the second one now. Maybe the next one I'll try and film it. Let's see if I can get a release. See ya, bud. Happy Canada Day. <laughs> Okay, guys and gals, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to... I thought I had a trout on because that's kind of what we've been going after. i seen him come up and take a whack at it. But it's a foul hooked little hammer handle pike. I didn't even know they were in here. I mean, I know there's a possibility of it. This connects to big water. But I just foul hooked a little hammer handle pike. <laughs> you see him there? see if I can sorry I know the camera works not great guys and gals but the net works even worse <laughs> perfect look at that little friggin little pike little hammer handle pike you can get that thing out of him yeah just just do the release little brother Let's see if we can anywhere beautiful oh hang on yep perfect i didn't even know they were up this far in the river there he goes all right stay tuned welcome back to another one ladies and gentlemen Whew. yeah the bugs are still bad up north <laughs> but at least it's not mosquitoes this time it's those fun deer flies yeah they take a chunk and share anyway Stay tuned. Well, it's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Hope you're having a safe one. Hope your weekend went well, because once you'll be seeing this, well, Canada Day will be over. But hope everybody made it through and had a happy and safe holiday. So... We're out here, we've got the camper, we've got Mrs. Tubby, we've got the little pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my brother had a visit. We've been up here for most of the day, so my brother came and had a visit. We did a little bit of fishing. I might throw those clips in now. Um, or you might have already seen them in the uh, in the intro, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Anyway. We'll be back when there's something exciting. I know I promised a couple of you guys a walkthrough of our trailer, so we'll maybe do a walkthrough there. I've just got, uh, let's see, we've got burgers cooking on the Coleman stove. So once we've had supper, we'll, we'll bring you back. Okay. 
<clears throat> home sweet home away from home. So it's the 18 double R. It's got a queen size bed up front, uh, overhead storage. I know the lighting in here is not going to be the best. But, um, oh, there's one right there. All right. So queen size bed, um, little cabinet, um, overhead cabinets for clothing and that that's for clothing. It does have a bathroom that we are not using it right now. We're using it as a storage cubby. So we've got fishing gear in there and extra stuff in there. Um, <clears throat> it's got a really nice size pantry. It's got a big, beautiful fridge. And the fridge runs off the battery power. And there's a solar panel on the roof. Um, great big freezer, obviously. Um, it's got a three burner stove, uh, an oven, the sink. Convection oven. Convection oven, um, microwave oven, sound system. Um, and then one of the cool parts is that, I'm not gonna do it today um, because of all the bugs, but uh, because this is a toy hauler, that folds down flat, those stands up and it makes like a party deck. And then there's a screen that goes across, but they're not like 100% bug proof. So <laughs> um, it does have heat, it does have um, AC. So, um, when we run the, when we run the, uh, generator, we can have the AC on. Uh, it is like 85 degrees here today. Um, the fires that we were talking about in another video, uh, are still burning. Uh, there's the Coleman stove cleaned up. Don't leave anything outside other than that stove, uh, cause we are in bear country. Um, as you can hear, we are right next to the road again, but that's okay. The river's right straight across that way. Uh, we also have, you might have noticed in a little clip before that, Mrs. Tubby and I got his and hers toys this season. So you'll get to see a video of us ripping, ripping up and down somewhere on those, I'm sure someday soon. But, Grey Wolf, it's got the awning, full awning. Ours just happens to be the limited, has the outdoor, outdoor speakers. Kind of another neat feature if you wanted to use it. Um, obviously we haven't had the trailer that long, we haven't used it yet, but it does have the um, outdoor shower. So it's got outdoor shower, um, the hot water heater and tank is here under the bed. So you do have hot and cold running water. Um, yeah, so pretty stoked, pretty excited. Uh, so far, we're really digging it. Uh, getting used to getting used to all the stuff because we've never had a trailer before. So, but loving it. So anyway, a quick little tour. So we're gonna get Probably head down to the river for a swim, cool off. Uh, it's a little, I don't know, it's probably close to six o'clock now. It is cooling down a little bit, but it's still pretty gosh darn warm. So um, we're gonna head down to the river, maybe do some fishing, maybe do a little swim, who knows. Anyway, stay tuned. Well, guys and gals. Oh, we just got back from the river. A um, little early yet to be fishing still pretty hot it needs, it needs to get down another oh a couple hours there right before dark and maybe give it a try again but i probably won't film anything it'll be too dark by then so bear and mrs tubby went and had a swim and i wet a line but no luck so we've come back to the campsite and we're just relaxing just enjoying it just enjoying the peace and quiet and even though we are not far from a road it's not a it's not a super well-traveled road so it's not like there's constant vehicles going by or anything. Um, so we're just enjoying the quiet. Uh, again, with all the fires burning and everything else, we're under a, a fire ban. So no campfire this weekend, but that's okay. Not too worried about that. It's just nice to sit and listen to the birds and the wildlife. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of the evening. And we'll bring you back. Uh, in the morning 
Good morning. <clears throat> oh, what a beautiful night it was. Pretty stayed pretty warm though. So it's supposed to cool off a little bit more tonight, which would be nice. But even if it doesn't, oh man, we're having a great trip so far. We've got uh, today, tonight, and then tomorrow morning, and then we have to head out. So we're just enjoying it. Mrs. Tubby's out on her, on her four-wheeler, took the dog for a little rip, tried to wear some of his energy off this morning. <laughs> Uh, he was up, I don't know if it's just because we're in the trailer and it's not home and he's not in his kennel and all that good stuff, but he was up two or three times through the night, so we, uh, he let us sleep in till 6.30, because I'm usually up at 6 for work, so he gets up with me in the morning, and so he let us sleep in till 6.30, and, uh, we got up and started our day, of course got coffee for sure on the go, mm. Ah. And then he was rambunctious as all get out, so Mrs. Tubby jumped on the bike and taking him for a little run. When she gets back, I'm going to go for a little fish just down the road here, about, oh, 75 yards maybe. There's a, there's a little hole there in the river. I'm going to go see if I can pull another speck out of it like I did yesterday. And, uh, and when I'm done doing that, I'll come back and make some brekkie, and then we'll see where the day takes it from there. Yesterday when uh, Mrs. Tubby went for a ride uh, with our sister-in-law, um, I'm going to stop calling her my brother's girlfriend because she's as much family now as she's ever going to be. So they've been together for a little while. So my sister-in-law, <laughs> love you sis, uh, and her went for a rip yesterday on the bikes and she found something there not too far from camp that she wants to show us and you and me and everybody today so it should be pretty good so we'll maybe do that when we get back after breakfast so all right stay tuned all right i don't know how awesome this is gonna be <laughs> but we're gonna try it since this usually happens on like the first pass through I didn't see my worm down there though. I didn't see anything happen yet. All right, let's try that again. Just because the way I'm holding the camera is just in my hand here, it's hard to, to get the swing I want. But I want it to go up into that culvert and then kind of plunge out so it goes down into that pool. But. See here, it kind of stopped there. Oh, nothing. Try again. Sorry about the camera work, guys and gals. If we don't get anything on this drift through, I'm going to put the camera away. And we'll just deal with it if it happens. Okay, I'll bring you back if we catch something. If not, next time you see us, we'll be doing something else. Stay tuned. Well, I don't know about you guys, but bacon, hash browns, eggs, cheese on an English muffin. Sounds like breakfast to me. <laughs> Turned out to be a gorgeous day. Bluebird skies. Not the best for fishing, but that's okay. We'll make do. All right, I'm going to muck this down and then we'll go from there. See you soon.
I'm not ready yet. So we made it to that spot that Mrs. Tubby was talking about. The majority of this stuff out here is all raspberries and it goes back in behind and just all the way around, right all the way back down that side of the road there. And it's this huge patch of raspberries. They're not ready yet. But when they are, holy cows, there are going to be a pile of berries in here. So, and then all the way along the road, all the way up is wild strawberries. And if I see a good little clump of them somewhere to pick, I'll, uh, There's I'll, also early I'll, raspberries and blackberry So, I'll get off and pick the strawberries and show them to you and blackberries and raspberries and all kinds of berries are just we're just about two weeks too early <laughs> as you can see this fella mm, spends a little time walking around Wild strawberries are perfect right now. Oh, cool. all right. Both sides of the road right here, all wild strawberries. Right there. All right, I wanted to show you that. Just all in through here, everywhere. It's all wild strawberries. Okay, stay tuned. Say good morning, bear. <laughs> you stay in there out of the bugs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to pack up camp. We had a lot of fun on our new Yamahas. That's the uh, Kodiaks, so the 450. Um, really, the only add-on we did was we both got winches put on there. So, and of course the Gray Wolf, and of course had to make coffee this morning, and uh, the old Coleman stove. Oh. That was my dad's. That's why I still use it. Plus, we spent enough money this year. <laughs> I wasn't buying another stove yet. So, <laughs> and then of course we got the the new generator, another Yamaha. Kind of switched over to Yamaha, and not switched over. Never really had any of this stuff before, but went with Yamaha, and so far I'm super happy. And I know somebody in the question or in the comments is going to say something about me commenting about not using the bathroom in the trailer and that's because this site it's not really a site but this spot um that we're staying at long 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 time ago a prospector used to stay here he used to set up a tent and all kinds of stuff and he left behind an outhouse and uh, it's still in pretty good shape we had to evict a few spiders but <laughs> but once that was taken care of that was our toilet for the weekend so we didn't have to worry about cleaning out the tank and the trailer when we get back to civilization so that was nice so because I don't know about where you guys live, but where I live, it's a bit of a chore to find a place that you can dump stuff like that out of a trailer. So. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a wrap for this trip. What an awesome, what an awesome weekend we had. But, like all good things, it had to come to an end. So, we're on our way home. Just kind of taking a took the back way because I think it's easier than the other way on the vehicle you learn 
Uh, it's not quite as hilly this way, so or at least steep as, as steep hills, but um, so we're going this way home. But I want to thank each and every one of you for coming along. Uh, I kind of screwed up a little bit. <laughs> I meant to show you loading the joy hauler, but we'll show you loading or unloading next time. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but um, anyway. So if you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. It doesn't cost you a penny. It helps me out a great deal. So with that being said, remember... It's never a bad day to be more outdoors.